Just Drive, Anchor Point Book One by L.A. Witt is a contemporary gay romance novel that explores the burgeoning relationship between two men who come from different worlds but find common ground in their mutual attraction and personal struggles. The story is set in the Navy town of Anchor Point, where military life is the backdrop for the dramatic unfolding of love and self-discovery. The novel introduces us to the main characters, Sean Wright and Paul Richards. Sean is a young man in his early 20s who's the son of a high-ranking Navy officer. He's closeted due to the environment in which he was raised, fearing that being openly gay could negatively impact his father's career as well as his own life in a conservative military town. Despite Sean's intentions to keep a low profile, he struggles with loneliness and an intense desire for companionship. On the other side is Paul Richards, a man in his early 40s and a former Navy helicopter pilot. Paul's career in the Navy ended abruptly when he was outed against his will, resulting in an honorable discharge under the don't ask, don't tell policy. Since then, he's been trying to rebuild his life, coping with the trauma of his forced outing and the loss of his military career. Paul owns a one-bedroom condo in Anchor Point and runs a by-the-hour rental business to make ends meet until he figures out his next steps. Their paths cross one stormy night when Sean, after a few drinks at a local gay bar, calls a service to avoid driving home under the influence. Instead of a taxi, to his surprise, he's picked up by Paul in his rental car service. The heavy rain and the late hour mean that the roads are deserted and the atmosphere in the car is charged with an unspoken tension. During the ride, the two men engage in a conversation where their chemistry becomes evident, and in a bold move fueled by alcohol and loneliness, Sean propositions Paul for a one-night stand. Despite the questionable start, their encounter is both explosive and tender, a connection that neither man was expecting. They agree to keep things casual due to the complications of their age difference, Sean's closeted status, and Paul's understandable reluctance to engage in a relationship with active military personnel. However, as they continue to meet, their physical attraction deepens into an emotional bond that proves difficult to ignore. Sean starts questioning the choices he's made out of fear and obligation. While Paul wrestles with his insecurities about his age and his past hurt, as their relationship develops they face challenges that threaten to break them apart. Sean's father, an admiral, exudes a strong presence throughout the story. His influence over Sean's life and career looms large, exacerbating Sean's fears about coming out. Paul, on the other hand, is haunted by memories of how his military career ended and his ex-boyfriend's betrayal. These traumas make it hard for him to trust in a future with Sean, especially with the uncertainties that come with being involved with someone still in the closet. The turning point comes when Sean and his father have a confrontation about Sean's future. Following a heated argument where Sean's father pushes him to go to officer candidate school and follow in his footsteps, Sean starts reevaluating his life choices. He's forced to consider what matters most to him and whether he's willing to continue living a lie for the sake of others' expectations. This moment of reckoning sets Sean on a collision course with his desires and his need to live authentically. Meanwhile, Paul is dealing with his insecurities and the mounting fear of getting hurt again. He struggles with the balance between protecting his heart and giving in to his feelings for Sean. It's a tug of war between past experiences and the potential happiness that lies in the uncertain present. The climax of the story occurs when Sean makes a bold, life-altering decision. In a spontaneous act of courage, he comes out to his father and decides not to pursue a career as an officer. This act of self-assertion is pivotal, not only for his own sense of integrity, but also for his relationship with Paul. It signals Sean's readiness to embrace his identity and fight for the life he wants, even if it means risking the approval of his family and potentially his career. Paul, in turn, has his demons to face. When confronted with the prospect of a serious relationship, he must overcome his reluctance to get attached to someone within the military community. The task requires him to reconcile with his past, make peace with his experiences, and allow himself the chance to love freely again. In the end, Just Drive is not just a love story between two men. 
It is an exploration of the complexities involved in balancing personal happiness with professional constraints. It is about taking risks for love and the possibility of finding unexpected companionship in a seemingly rigid world. Through Sean and Paul's journey, the novel depicts the gritty realism of gay life in a military town, the nuances of age and experience, and the triumphs that can come from embracing one's true self and loving without reservations. Amidst the romantic plot, Wit also addresses issues of don't ask, don't tell, the pressures of military family legacies, and the stigma of age gaps in relationships. By weaving these elements into the narrative, the novel offers a poignant look at the societal challenges faced by LGBTQ plus individuals within and around the armed forces. Their happily ever after might not be traditional, but for Sean and Paul, it is a testament to the power of honesty, vulnerability, and the relentless pursuit of love. As the first book in the Anchor Point series, Just Drive sets the stage for a world where each character must navigate the high stakes of love and life in a small Navy town. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.